This morning I would like to show everybody my undersink um, organization and my uh, recycling system. Uh, I think it's very important for me to have a system to get your garbage and your compost and your recycling out where it belongs. Um, I've got, become a little bit anal about that, my uh, kids will tell you. But um, I think it's important that we do what we can to uh, ensure there is going to be um, a nice planet to live on for our future generations. So without any further delay, I will get started here. Okay, everybody, here's a shot of the whole cabinet under my sink. I'm going to start on the left-hand side here and work my way around. Um, in this little basket here, I have my sink stoppers. I wish I could take credit for that idea, but I got that idea from Pinterest and some other great YouTube celebrities, like shout out to Nikki at home. And uh, I have this new pull-out um, trash and compost um, bins here from Ikea. Um, I labeled them on the top there. So if uh, someone else uh, happens to be visiting, they know exactly which bin is for which. And I found these two great uh, little baskets or stack bags. Actually, there's a third one back there too. But this one um, I got uh, at a dollar store. Um, like four dollars each which I thought was great um, I've got my Mrs. Meyers hand soap and I got a couple of the all-purpose cleaners there um, I put goo gone in this that is great for getting all kinds of sticky stuff off and like labels and things like that um, the original bottle it came in um, got cracked so uh, I don't like throwing things out so I ended up putting it up in there. Uh, in the back there, I just have a, a bottle of dishwasher uh, rinse fluid and two things of dishwasher cleaner. Um, I got this cute little handmade scrubber thing um, at a, I think a farmer's market or something like that. Yeah, and it's supposed to be really good for taking uh, the tops off uh, some things that are hard to get off, like lids off little things. Um, on the bottom part here, I'll lift this, and underneath I have my sponges, sponges, uh, magic erasers, and then my scrubber sponges there. In the back there I have a uh, essential oil diffuser that I bring out, not every night because I don't cook every night, but um, whenever I do in, in the evening I like to put that on. Um, in my little cleaning caddy here, I have my bottle uh, cleaners, my dish brush, um, toothbrush holder with um, the toothbrush for cleaning the sink in there, um, dishwashing uh, liquid when I have to do uh, some things by hand, Comet cleaner, I use that for cleaning out the sink a lot. And I also have another little scrubber back there and a roll of the compost bags that go in there. Because uh, you can't just use regular plastic bags for that. Now I, here I keep my um, leftover plastic bags from um, shopping. Now that supply is dwindling now because I use a lot of re reusable shopping bags. Um, but that's where I keep those there. So everything's handy when I have to change out a bag for the garbage or the compost there. Um, I keep my uh, rubber gloves here on a little hook with a command hook. Um, and I also lined um, the bottom here with this contact liner um, to help protect the um, cabinet a little bit more. So this is the main part I wanted to show you. Then, what's that? Okay, <laughs> sorry. Anyway, there is the second section I have. I got this, uh, these pull-out bins. These are just for my recycling. So, and I labeled at the front. The front is plastic and containers, and the back one is for um, papers and cardboard 
and they have a handle so I can just pick them up and take them out and then put them in the big blue bins that are at the end of the driveway. I have a cupboard down there. So when I'm feeling lazy and I don't want to take them out there, which is, let's face it, most of the time, you don't want to run out just for one little thing. So I'll put them in there and at least once a week they go out. Now, if for some reason I have an overflow of recycling, I have overflow recycling um, bins in the garage. If you might've seen that in my previous video and I will show you those in just a second. So here we are in my garage. This is my overflow recycling system. Um, so if the bins under the sink are too full or there's a piece of cardboard that's too big and doesn't fit there, I might bring it out here and put it in here. If it's still too big to go on the shelf, I'll just put the bin on top there until it's time to take it out to uh, recycling at the end of the road. So um, I have one for uh, paper and cardboard, one for containers, and plastic goes there as well, one for metals. Uh, this bin is belongs to someone else, and there is actually a couple things that need to be returned to people. Uh, the bottom bin there is for empties. Here in Ontario, uh, we can take all our alcoholic beverage bottles back there and get a small refund. And um, up here, I have my box that I put items in that I'm decluttering because I do that all the time. And... Um, this summer, they gave us this pink bag here uh, for textile uh, recycling. So any textiles like clothes, sheets, towels, that type of thing that are uh, not nice enough to donate to anybody, whether they're ripped or holy or just plain worn out or stained or what have you, um, they can be put, put in that and recycled. So I am starting my collection to donate next year because unfortunately they only give it to you a couple weeks before they want you to put it out and um, that doesn't really give you a lot of time to get things together. And Maybe if you're like me and you're constantly going through things um, and getting rid of them, you don't uh, necessarily have that on hand. So anyway, uh, this is my uh, overflow recycling system. As I told you, I hope you've enjoyed this video and seeing how I organized under my kitchen sink. Um, I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.